everybody hello everyone around the world i love you very much i miss you and thank you for subscribing for those who are new to my channel thank you for clicking that uh, the red button on your left and um, you are welcomed so much and that's all okay let's uh, go on with today's um, content huh? uh, for those who have been subscribing and also apart from that for those who have been subscribing and are still in my building now huh? in the world squad you are given a five star uh, whatever I review and i really love you any thank you any i appreciate you above all i've been away for a while and with this uh, pandemic I've been doing some exercise. I'll show you. <laughs> just let just let me tell you what I'm going to to post today on the um, the content that I've prepared for you. But lately, I've been doing some exercise for the past um, thirty days. I mean, one month. I want my waist to go away. Let me. I don't have to to take it to a few minutes or tomorrow let me just show you how my waist looks like first this is how can you see it you understand currently it's that way then this way let me just push let me just go back this is how my waist looks like but i want I want my waist to be having the six pack. Do you know the six pack? It looks amazing. I want to go back to my normal body that I was like um, in my teenager stage. I was wearing 28 on my waist, but currently I was wearing around 32. I didn't measure when I started doing the press ups and exercises and everything, but. I'll, I'll measure and tell you what I got but I, some years back I was that uh, 28 and I want to go back there and um, around last year it was around 32 but I didn't measure but no, now I know it has gone it has reduced this is how it looks like this is how my waist looks like and I'm proud of it let's look let's look i don't have to do it like this now next time i post it i'm sure i will have cut all this and the six pack will be shown and this is my small booty that is my small booty <laughs> currently i've lost some weight i've really lost some weight but i hope i'll gain some weight at the same time i'll be reducing my waist so in the next video i'll be showing you how i've lost my some some weight on my waist within 30 days there is an application that i downloaded but i'll have to show you how you you do it every day in the morning or you can do it in the morning and in the evening or you can still do it uh, in the morning only or in the evening only it's your choice so long as each day you do it then after three days you you relax so this is me so i'll have to get more of this huh? it has to be this way don't i look amazing if it looks this way that is how i want to and the curves have started showing. Just look, the curves. I need these curves. Okay, let's go. Let me go back to the chair. Let's go back to my content today. I didn't want to show you how my journey was going. I just wanted to. I, I wanted it to be a surprise. But this thing, this feeling, it's itching me. I want everybody to know that my waist is going back. My waist is going back to, and I think I I also lost some weight on my arms. Here we are. 
the loss she did because you I work out on my arms but not too much on my upper body I don't work too much on my upper body I work more on the lower parts so let's go to what I prepared for you that is just a by the way but I, I, I'll have to keep you updated because you're my subscribers and at least you, if you know about more about me it would be very nice huh? okay just try and do a, a great thing uh, during this uh, pandemic when it's over when the corona is over I'm sure everybody will have achieved something just find out what you like you can just like just watch out on my other video that I had done earlier okay I'll be running out to those people who want to rent and at the same time those people who are looking for a job job, job hunters at the same time you want to have your own home or your new home or your own room and rent okay? the first thing before you, you go uh, you go renting the first thing you have to do you you can ask your friend and go stay with him or her his or her place for some time then you can start buying some things before moving out to the place that you have planned and before you start buying uh, the things you have to have money how will you get some money the most reliable job that you can have or you can get is a job from a restaurant this is most probably a high percentage of advantageous because when you work at a restaurant you get um, some food some some of the employ, employ, employers give uh, the employee, employers, employees <laughs> the owner of the hotel whatever will give you some food to eat before you go back home for the next day actually I'm sure you'll have one meal per day at the restaurant so you, you won't have to struggle to find some food to eat or something like that so the best thing you can uh, go and ask for a job like a waiter or just help in the kitchen washing utensils or doing the handy handy works being sent to buy some stuff something like that uh, it's not necessary to find a big job and uh, you don't you, you you don't know where to start you can start with a small one then as you look for you the job that you had um, job that you had learned uh, you had gained or in the university or in the college or anywhere that your talent you can go find that job huh? as a waiter in a hotel it will be very reliable also you can be a um, hairdresser in fact me i've been a hairdresser for a long time you go jump bunting you can be paid per day or um per, you can be paid per day or within a week or a month depending on how you have agreed i think that those are the most two reliable jobs that i have in my mind okay the second thing after getting some salary you start saving if it's weekly or if it's monthly you start saving then you start buying your um, stuff easy like mattress and then um, if you don't if you want to go direct and rent a house just try and have three months deposit uh, of the place where you're going to rent because you have just started and you don't you are not sure if you get another job or you won't have money to pay today one of the house that you've rented huh? if you don't have a mattress what you can start if you have some old clothes in Kwanza life we are talking the reality you can have some uh, old clothes you put uh, you put them on the floor you arrange them well then at night you sleep oh, that is hustling uh, we are talking about real life great hustling you put some clothes down or some boxes boxes down first then you put uh, on top the clothes then you sleep 
that is another way of hustling and starting a new life. The second thing, you try as much as possible to have friends within the area that you, you had gone to start your life. Because those friends can help you each day or not even within a day or each day, maybe a weekly or monthly, and life goes on. You tell them, I don't have these days, and they help you as they can. Even if it's little, the little thing that they help you with, I'm sure it will help you somewhere and it will move you forward. Okay? And if you've got a phone, another important thing is having a phone. Because when you continue looking for a job, you'll have to have a number. Those people can call you when they have the job. Huh? And also the, um, the phone, if you have an, uh, a smartphone, the smartphone will help you to, to sell some things online. So you'll be doing part-time going to the place that's um, going to the job, I mean. And part-time when you're back home, you can sell some things online. E.g. the clothes in Tumba or anything. For now, I think those are the things at least you can do before you start your life or before renting out or if you want to start come on to on the life too those are the ideas that i have as for me so let's see next time for those people who are who want to have a job try looking for a job but start with the waiter don't start with a big thing now. you need a job but if you have, have a small capital like 5k 1000 you can start selling eggs like the video i had put earlier just watch the video and you get the jobs uh, the businesses that you can start um, with a small amount of money thank you for watching i really love you very much and don't forget to sanitize wash your hands social distance as usual and show some love to everyone huh? stay safe huh? I love you very much and keep helping those people who, who are in need and your neighbors depending on your capability thank you very much thank you for watching me thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for commenting and don't forget to comment below the any idea that you think can help someone start a business or any idea that can help and uh, help someone earn some money during this corona pandemic thank you very much for watching i love you very much Mwah. keep subscribing Mwah.